Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now today I'm going to dress my Christmas table for you and um, hopefully it's going to give you a few ideas. Now I've put this together quite quickly this morning, I've had a few bits and pieces I've been collecting. Um, first of all I want to show you the tablecloth. Now we've got um, an extending table but I'm just leaving it as this size. Um, this fits six people. So I'm going to put over the top this tablecloth and hopefully it won't slip. Um, but if you've got a table that's a bit slippy, then you can actually get little protective um, covers that you put on, like a non-slip thing, so you can put that down first. I bought this from B&M, it was just 7 99 and it's um, a plain white tablecloth. Um, so I'm going to first start by popping that over the top of the table. Right, so that's down now, and now I'm going to put one of these table runners on and this is just um, a sequin sparkly table runner that I bought from eBay so everything's just going to help me do that side and we'll put that through the middle so you just lay them directly through the middle of the table like that and um, then we're going to put some charger plates on now I picked up these from Danelle lots of shops sell them and I got them from there because they were basically the perfect colour to match the table and what I'm going to use them for. They're generally around about a pound each. Now I'm setting a table for six people. We have got six people coming for food as well. So um, obviously just do it as, you know, as you've got. So set those down. And the crockery and the plates that I'm going to use, these came from Danelle as well. You've probably seen these in one of my videos. I'll just turn it around that way. It's um, the Country Heart White Dinnerware set. It's got some really cute hearts on the bottom there. I did look at the plain white ones that they sell, um, but they were quite small. So um, I'm just going to give those um, a wash. I did buy two sets. I've already washed one set. Yeah. So I'm just going to give these ones a wash now. Okay, so we're just going to start by putting the plates down. Now, I'm going to put them with the heart facing upwards. And I'm also going to put one of these little side plates on as well, because I think they look really cute. Um, but obviously you don't have to do that, um, so I'll just put them around the rest of the table. Right, and then knife and fork wise, um, I'm not going to put out loads of knife and forks because to be honest with you, we won't actually use them. So all I'm going to do for this um, instance is just put out a knife and a fork. going to show you the crackers that I've bought. These are six luxury crackers. They're again from Denelm, but they're the same colour scheme that I wanted. Um, so we're going to get those. They've got some quite good bits in. No plastic rubbish, things that we'll use. You've got like a trolley pound and some nail clippers and things like that. So I'll put these out now. So we've got the crackers down. Um, I also want to show you the napkins. Now I bought some napkins from eBay and I'm not impressed with them at all. I've washed them and um, dried them and ironed them and they were so hard to iron. They were not a very good um, feel. I don't know what they're made from but they're not very nice at all. But I'm going to show you how I folded them. I haven't got any napkin rings and I was going to do a napkin tutorial um, but I've just completely run out of time, so I've just literally whipped this together really quick this morning. And I'm going to show you just in this corner here. So you've got your napkin and you fold it into four. And once you've done that, fold it um, in half. Okay, like that. And then this half, you want to do like a concertina effect, like that, if you can see. And then turn it over and do exactly the same thing on the other side. Now, this is a point where you would put... Um, a napkin ring on. If you've got a napkin ring, put that on now and that looks pretty cool. I haven't got any of those. Ebs, if you could just hold that for me a second. Um, so what I've done, proper cheat, is I've got a pipe cleaner and one of these flowers that I used in the display. I'm just going to wrap the pipe cleaner around it. This is like it's Christmas Eve tomorrow and I haven't got any um, napkin rings kind of DIY. 
So then what I'm going to do is just poke the stick in the middle there, get the pipe cleaner, wrap it round the back. You're not going to see this, so it really, really won't matter. And then all you've got to do is just twist it. And I've made some of the other ones. I've made some pink ones as well. So just twist it round like that. Hide these in there. And just sort of fluff it up. And that is it. So I've made some pink ones and some white ones and we'll just set those out now. Right, so, okay, the centrepiece that we actually made um, in a previous video is far too big for this table. So I've literally just whipped this together in no more than five minutes. Okay, so I needed something small to go in the top. This is so quick and easy to make. Um, I've just got one of these little jars. This came last year from um, the range. I've put some of the foam flower sort of um, foam stuff in there, cut to size. I've stuck a candle in the middle and then literally just poked some of these bits, bows and twigs and stuff around the edge. It, I, I don't even think it took me five minutes to do. I'm just going to put that in the centre. So I think it does need something in the middle and then I'll probably put my salt and pepper and things the other side. Um, but literally that is it. And it hasn't really taken that much to do. Um, I think white plates look really nice when you're doing colours like this and they kind of go with any kind of occasion as well. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed watching this um, table decoration video. I've really enjoyed doing it for you and I think you'll agree it looks really, really pretty. I'm just going to show you my Christmas cake now. I finished that the other day. I didn't film it, but I do want to show you. Right, so here's my Christmas cake. It's just the Christmas cake recipe from the Bero book. And all I did was um, fed it once a week with some brandy, put some holes in the top and gave it a little bit of food in there. And it's just been covered with a marzipan, just a marzipan circle over the top. I stuck that on with apricot jam. Then it's got some white icing over the top of that. And then literally I've just put these, this little Merry Christmas sign on. And around the corner here, I've just stuck a ribbon that says Merry Christmas. And it's almost too big for this, this tray on the bottom. So it doesn't match in with the pink theme, but I really do like the traditional colours as well. So there we go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'm going to try, if I can, to vlog a little bit over Christmas. I haven't been feeling too good, so I'm going to see how it goes. Um, but I know that lots of you um, like to watch them, so I'm going to try and do my best. So that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. I hope you're all okay, and I'll see you again soon. You take care. Bye for now.